Get me. <laughs> Wait till you see these. Wow, that, that is good, isn't it? It's Anne Marie. Welcome back to my channel, Looks by Luminescence. Hope you've been enjoying the content. So, today I'm going to try out the Pat McGrath makeup that I managed to score in the 40% sale. I'm really excited about it. You probably saw me um, unboxing it in a previous video. If you haven't seen that video, take a look. It is linked above. So, I managed to snag two of the smaller palettes, the Eye Ecstasy Subver um, Eyeshadow Palettes. I got the one in Subversive and the one in Sublime. And they look like this. They're little tiny ones. Now, normally these retail for about £23, but I managed to get them for £13 each. So, that was quite a win. Uh, quite excited about that, really. So as you can see, I've already done my base. I have done my lip with a nice lip stain and I have uh, put my foundation and concealer and everything on already for the video. If I'm squinting a bit, I apologise. The hay fever is bad today and uh, I am not wearing my contact lenses because they itch. So today will be me kind of squinting at the camera, but I'm sure we could deal with it. We'll still be able to see the pigment. So first things first, I'm going to go in with the Revolution uh, eye primer. Okay, so the Revolution Prime and Lock. This is a really good eye primer because we don't want all of our hard work to go to waste now, do we? So, so much product on this, it's great. Like one dip is so enough. Right. So, primed. I'm just going to bring the primer slightly higher because I want to go up here now the last <laughs> it's a bit of a mess uh the last few videos that I've done I've gone for a kind of brown gold uh kind of glowy smoky look so we're gonna go slightly bolder this time okay so we have two palettes this one is the uh, Sublime palette in the shades Sinful, Gold Nectar, Sextrovert, Illicit and Corruption and these colours are absolutely incredible if you can see these. I'm not actually going to do a look with these ones today uh, simply because as I say I've done two looks now that have had really similar colour um, stories to them so I'm actually going to go for the brighter of uh, the palette but I will do um, a tutorial with this um, later on another day so you will get to see how that works but let's start off with the subversive palette so that's in lapis luxury gold standard crimson fire blue blood and synthetica really nice little palette you've got the Pat McGrath logos on it makes it look like it's been stamped like a bar of gold and here we go these are our colors so they're all really lovely and there is a shimmer to all of them um except for the brown the brown is a little bit less shimmery and metallic there's a slight sheen to it so we're going to swatch those and we're going to see how those look on the skin so we're going to go in with shade number one which is lapis luxury then it is gold standard okay then oh <laughs> wait till you see these then we've got crimson fire at the top And then Blue Blood is the kind of purpley, the brown colour. Oh. And Synthetica, I need another finger for. So I'll do that one in a second. Oh, oh, that's pretty. That's not what I expected. Right, so this is the blue. Oh my God, can you see that? Look at the pigment on that. That is incredible. And it's still kind of here on my finger as well. 
How many will that do? Should we see? Like, even the second swatch, if I can get that to focus, is still pretty damn good, isn't it? Now, this gold, oh, look at that. That is, that's incredible. Wow. That is amazing. Okay. This is... Now you see in the pan that looks like just a brown and it didn't look that metallic at all but if you can see here there is a real nice sheen to that and it's almost a terracotta colour rather than just brown it looks very never mind actually that is the terracotta colour <laughs> this is the brown colour okay that is a good brown. And again, it is slightly less me metallic than the others, but it is still definitely um, a metallic colour, most definitely. So that's the brown. And then if I go with the purple, which is really sparkly on this hand. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's so doing a look here. Ooh, now that is there's a sparkle there it's not it's not as pigmented as the others it's not got quite the same intensity as you can see but it is there's still a lot of pigment in it so you can see that sheen there wow i think that one's going to go better it's much creamier i think that one's going to go on better with a finger so let's get rid of all these colors off my hand and then we will have a play on the eye. I think I want the purple to be kind of like the main colour on my lid. So I think... Mm, now. Well, the only brushes to use with this clearly are going to be Jeffree Star. They're the only ones that are worthy of Pat McGrath, really. All my others are pretty generic. So let's start off with this packing brush, okay, which is the Jeffree Star Mono or JS10. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Okay, so I think we're going to go in with this colour in the corner and the crease. And we're just going to see what happens. There's some for it. Wow, that. That is pigmented. My only gripe, no mirror on this. Uh, so I'm going to do it here. Or am I? Actually, I'm going to get a mirror out because I need to get closer than I normally would. And I haven't got my contacts in. Right. Come on, Morphe. Help us out here. Wow. Look at that pigment. Now that, that's incredible. That's just one dip. Okay, I'm gonna bring that just a little bit further in. And brown, I just wanna see how far it goes before I feel like I really need another dip. Can you see that? That's amazing. And how it blends. Well, we're going to find out. That's why we're here, isn't it? Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit more of that colour. I have to say, there isn't... There's a little bit, but there's not that much fallout in the pan either, which is quite impressive. So, for something this pigmented. Now we know why Pat is the queen. Wow. Okay, that's amazing. That's incredible. That is so good. Wow. Okay, so... Ooh, okay, so for my transition colour... <laughs> there's not really a transition colour in there. Um, let's try... Something crazy. Let's use the gold. Let's 
see where we get. Let's see where we end up. Okay, so we're going to go in with the gold colour, which is gold standard. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush, I think. This might be too fluffy, but we'll see. Oh, okay. Yes. That is, that's actually really nice. Using that fluffy brush, it's not picking up too much. And it's just, like you could totally build this gold up. Can you see? That's really pretty. So if you wanted to do kind of an intense colour with this gold, you could easily build it up and use it on a packing brush. But using it on this fluffy brush, which is the uh, JS9, that means that it's kind of diffused it out. Oh, it's so nice. Just going to bring it down here a bit. So if you bring it down into this part here, it gives you that kind of more sculpted look with your nose. Also, thank you, Nikki Tutorials, for teaching me how to uh, contour my nose in lockdown. <sighs> I'm all for that life. Right, so next we are going to go in with the purple. Now, I think we'll use the J JS10 again, to be honest. Do I need to cut crease? Shall I cut crease? Should we do it? Yeah, okay. Let's use the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and we'll do, I think Miss Pat needs a, needs a moment, doesn't she? So let's use the Cut Crease Canvas. I've been dying to try this out. is called Synthetica. This is going to be quite a bold look. <laughs> now it's picking up quite nicely on the brush. There's not too much fallout in the pan, as you can see. It's really interesting because depending which light you look at it, it's almost brown in some. It's like a duochrome if you kind of tilt it. I look at it from this angle, it's almost black. Right, so here we go. We're going to use this palette mirror. Now, am I going to pack it? Or am I going to... Interesting. Going on almost blue over this cut crease canvas, which is quite interesting because it is dry. Let's try a finger because look, it's almost blue, completely different than how it was on the, the skin. cream but it's definitely more grey when it's on the eye I'm 
Okay. I don't know what to do with that. Let me just try packing a bit more on. Can you build the colour? getting more purple isn't it definitely yeah okay there we go it's much more buildable so it doesn't go on purple straight away you kind of have to build it which is quite interesting the others you get like that immediate payoff but this one is definitely it's more of a cream color And when it goes onto the eye, I'm having to build it more. Okay, so that's enough there. I'm just gonna take a fluffier brush and just blend that bit out. And I actually think I'm gonna try a gold moment down the middle. Let's try it. Shall we see if it works? just because I want to try as many of the colours in here as possible. Oh yeah, I like that. More please. I'm glad I didn't cut crease that one actually. I just want to, that kind of slight, kind of blurring. Yes. Oh, these are, this is a beautiful palette. Okay, all right, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot, actually. But I do need to take some more of the gold as the transition and just go along here. And just blend that line out. That's really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go and fix this eye and replicate the look on the other side and put some mascara and things on and then I will be back with my final thoughts. Hey guys, so I'm back with the finished look. So I finished off this eye and interestingly what I did is I didn't actually use any of the cut crease canvas under here and the result is almost the same to be honest. So actually you don't really need the cut crease canvas it's already such uh, a good eyeshadow that in the primer is pretty much all you need on that so the only thing that i did is i also added um a little bit of a smokiness under the eye in the, the on the bottom lids with the dark brown because i hadn't used that so that's just kind of brought that look together and I added a little bit more gold on the inner corner as well I am loving this like I do not regret purchasing uh these palettes at all when they came I was a bit like oh they're really small but they're pat crown and that they are so pigmented and I am so impressed with the lack of fallout in the pan like look at that it's still really clean these are amazing. These are these are so, 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 so good. If you are looking to branch out into Pat McGrath and you can't afford a £115 palette, then I really, really recommend these Eye Ecstasy palettes because these are a really good way of uh, getting your hands on a bit of this fine, fine quality high-end stuff. Uh, loving this look, to be honest. Absolutely amazing. Now, I'm going to put my glasses on and I want to see how kind of intense it is behind my glasses because I've got a lot of work meetings today and uh, it would help if my glasses were clean. I've just sprayed my face with setting spray. I did uh, use the uh, Morphe Luminous Setting Spray and uh, my glasses have got a sheen on them. I have to say that setting spray smells incredible. It smells like coconut and apple. I didn't actually read the back about what it smelled like. I just went, oh, Morphe Setting Spray on sale. I'll have that. 
So, here are my glasses. And yeah, yeah, and they match really well with the gold trim. So, super, super happy with that. Thank you very much, my luminaries. Very, very glad that you are here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button here in the corner and check out some of my other videos as well. Thank you. Bye.